Oh my gosh, you guys, it has been 84 years. <laughs> It has been way too long since I have last filmed the reaction and I am so sorry. Uh, school really just snuck up on me there. I got out of my depth and I just, I, we're not going to talk about it. Um, but I'm back. I am excited. Today we are going to be finishing The Queen's Gambit. We are watching episodes 5, 6, and 7, I believe. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for Stranger Things. I'm going to be posting that as soon as possible. Other than being gone because of a onslaught of schoolwork suddenly just slapping me in the face, I have also been gone because I've been trying to figure out a way to really get my channel in a good place where I can keep up with the content in a way that will still be enjoyable, less stressful, and allow me to make the content that I want to make. So I'm in a bit of a weird transition period right now where I'm trying to, I, I want to get ahead of schedule with my uploads so that I will have things pre-filmed um, so that I can have more time to do other types of content as well as reactions. Um, I have two videos, I like to call them bonus videos, um, already made. I've got another one that I need to edit as well. Um, so I'm going to get back into making things like story times, makeup videos, stuff like that. They won't be as often as my reactions, but I really miss doing that type of content, so don't sneeze. I have makeup on. Don't do that. Mm. Thank you. I really have been wanting to go back to incorporating some other types of content on my channel while doing reactions at the same time, and I think being ahead of schedule with my uploads um, will be the way that I can do that. Also, I really miss my movie reactions. I haven't done a movie reaction in forever because I just have not had the time. Um, so what my plan is, is I'm finishing The Queen's Gambit today, and then before I get into Death Note, which will be the next show that I'm reacting to because that was the other option that I gave you guys in the first poll, um, and I said that I would do Death Note after Queen's Gambit because Queen's Gambit won. Before I hop into it, I am going to make some movie reactions and post those first. I will still do Stranger Things, um, but once Stranger Things season one is over, I'll do the same thing. So basically at the end of any show, or season of a show, I will upload as many movie reactions as I want to do, probably about like maybe three or four, depending on how I feel and how much I wanna do. And then I will hop into the next season of the show or the next show. I think it'll be manageable. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also bear in mind that I do gaming content and I upload once a week on my gaming channel as well. So if you haven't seen that already, please do go check it out if you're interested. Um, but I upload once a week over there because it doesn't take as long to make that type of content. So I'm also doing that too, and I have school. So I'm trying my best and hopefully this will be the best solution and um, schedule that I can create to make it so I can do all the content I want to make. So that's where I'm at right now and that's why it's taking me so long to figure everything out. Also I've changed my entire channel design and that will be updated either with this video or the next one, I'm not sure yet. But let's stop rambling now, you guys probably don't even really care, I'm sure most of you have skipped this part. Hello if you have skipped this part, welcome back. <laughs> um, we're watching the last three episodes of The Queen's Gambit and I am talking way too much so let's get into the next episode. So let's just hop on in to episode five called fork of all things okay okay sure uh do i have captions on yes i do okay dark's nothing to be afraid of in fact i go as far as saying there's nothing to be afraid of strongest person is the person who wasn't scared to be alone that's best actual mom right someday you're gonna be all alone so you need to figure out how to take care of yourself dang bitch <laughs> Whoa, she was talking to a child there because we know what happened, right? So Beth would have been pretty young when she was telling her those things. My gosh. Oh. Oof. That must suck. Oh, gosh. Oh no, that's, there's gonna be things everywhere that's gonna remind her of her adoptive mom. And that just, that's, that's a lot to handle. I feel so bad for her. Oh, Beth. Hello. Beth Harmon? Yes. This is Harry Beltic. Oh. I'm in Lexington for the summer and I thought maybe. Maybe what? 
Would you like some training? I know, you're better than me. <laughs> if you're gonna play the Soviets, you need help. I'm on my way to the Phoenix Hotel. I'm moving to an apartment on Thursday. I can come by then. Why don't you come over right now? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know anything about cars. I'm sorry. But that is some, that is a stylistic choice right there. So this guy is Dudley from Harry Potter, right? Someone told me in the comments and I was like, I knew I recognized him, but I couldn't know, I couldn't figure out where from. Mm-hmm. It is. Hey, Dudley! <laughs> what happened to that gawky kid who kicked my ass five years ago? Apparently she grew up. I brought that one. Well, some of these are going to be new to you. Capablanco Blanco played on intuition. You don't ever study? I analyze games. What actually happened, not what could have happened. And I play it by ear. You think I'm a prima donna, don't you? It's chess. We're all prima donnas. <laughs> I'm a different player now. In some ways. You're stubborn, so you get mad. And when that happens, you can only see what's right in front of you. Let's see emotions get in the way. But the point is still valid. You've got to stay open. If you get locked into one idea like this King Knight Pawn say, it's death. Very good advice right there. Always more to learn. No matter how much you know, there's always more to learn. You know, you're not the same person you were five years ago either. No, yeah. But I can't figure out what's different. I feel like he's less um, cocky, more mature. I become more profound. That's not it. And I um, got my teeth fixed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That would do it. <laughs> I used my tuition money. Hmm. My parents are plenty ticked off about it. Maybe don't mention parents to her. <laughs> Ugh, yikes. I, I will mention that this so far has a very different feeling than the episodes that came before it. It's very quiet. You can hear like the uh, the crickets chirping in the background. Very dark coloring. It, it I like how they've kind of incorporated Beth's feelings and loss into the scene by having it be very like mellow and quiet um it kind of i feel like it kind of like portrays how she's feeling and how the death i still remember her name of her adoptive mother has kind of i guess maybe uh created this environment of like sad dark kind of dreary environment it was raining as well at the beginning it, like, i feel like all the scenes are really portraying those feelings just really cool that they've done that. Uh, I should go. I'll be back in the morning with more books. She probably doesn't want to see her her room. Hmm. Yeah. It comes and it goes. I really wish I remembered her name. I don't know why. I remember everybody else's names. I'm doing pretty good. Like Stranger Things especially, I'm doing very good with that, remembering names, but I can never remember. Her name and I, I don't know why I like this him teaching okay, teaching her was... I could beat Borgov with a little more work Borgov's not some Kentucky ex-champion like me who could have beaten both of us when he was 10 <laughs> true spitting some straight career? facts no read it wasn't that something that Benny did he like studied some of her her um, games to get a sense of her playing style that's a good good advice i think learning people's playing styles because she's just said that she doesn't do that i'm a master oh oh my gosh <laughs> so relatable literally all of us Half my oh, now she's lit it. Okay. I'm moving out the hotel tomorrow into my apartment. I won't be coming by so much. I feel like she's gotten attached to him very quickly because she feels lonely now without her her mom there. Um, and having gone through like that trauma, I feel like she's like latched onto him very very fast. And now the prospect of him not coming all the time is like gonna freak her out a bit. I think. Might, might make her spiral a little. You could move in here if you want. Or that. <laughs> For free. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting because I feel like they haven't really talked about things other than chess. I wonder how much they actually get along 
with things other than chess, right? And I feel like it's moving very quick again because she's lonely and she doesn't want to be alone. I mean, I like, I like him helping her. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> I like him helping her. I think it's cute, but I don't know how oh. she feels. Ex right, exactly. Mm. No, no. I, I just wasn't ready. Yeah. Hmm. I'm ready now. Are you? So this is an interesting habit she has now. I, you know what? I'm gonna look up her name because it's bothering me. <laughs> Alma. Alma. I feel like this is a habit that she's picked up that's very similar to what Alma would do because she would smoke all the time. I'm like a little uncomfortable just about everything <laughs> that's happening. But at the same time, I don't hate it. I don't know. Because I feel like they could be cute together, but I don't know how much they actually get along about anything other than chess, you know? <laughs> and it's very fast paced. A baby! Who? Oh. Wow! Hi. Margaret. Oh, awkward. <laughs> get my errands done oh oh <laughs> i um i saw your picture on the cover of chess review truth is i was waiting for you to come back you're the reason i got my teeth fixed didn't colton ask used to play blindfolded all the time beth let's play chess right i feel like the only thing that they have in common is chess this too you wouldn't rather just steal it <laughs> keep it for the first time. <laughs> Breakfast is almost ready. I have taught you everything I know. I've got to start studying. I'm supposed to be an electrical engineer, not a chess bum. I'm moving to that apartment. It's closer to the university. I mean, it's the right choice for him, for sure. But what, how is Beth gonna... You're wrong, with... you know. Handle this. You taught me a lot. I'm really glad you called. I'm glad I could be here with you after you lost your mom. You really helped me. You helped me realize something. But I don't love chess. Hmm. I just don't love it as much as I once did. That's fine. You have a lot in common. He would stay up all night in Paris before his games, drinking in cafes and talking with strangers. And then he'd play the next day like a shark. You know what they called him? The pride and the sorrow of chess. And then he retired at 22. I'm 22. And you think that's, that's crazy. Be me. I think that is you. It, yeah. He's calling you out right now. Oh my god. <laughs> It's always been you. Uh oh. Be careful, Beth. Thank you. Honestly, I'm really happy that I was I was I wasn't sure because I felt like that that them living together could have been like a build up to her having a bad relationship, like kind of like Alma did. It could have been like a comparison thing. But now that he's leaving, it's obviously not gonna end up going that way so I am actually quite happy that he showed up and was there for her and helped her out because he knew that her mom passed away so like that's probably one of the reasons that he reached out to her as well um and I'm, I'm kind of glad that he was there just to like and especially with this conversation just to like help her kind of realize like realize that she can't keep doing what she's doing because she's going to end up you know, very similar probably to how Alma was if she keeps down that path, if she starts smoking and as a habit and keeps taking those pills and if she takes up alcohol, right, again, then she's just gonna end up like that, right? I think that this is like a really necessary conversation for her and I'm really glad that he was there to do that. So actually, I really like this. I feel bad for her, obviously, but like a needed conversation for sure. Nice coat. I want it. <laughs> Give me. Honestly, I want her entire wardrobe. Can I just have it, all of her clothes, please? <laughs> okay. Was 1967 the year that we started off on? You know what, I'm gonna double check just because I was so confused about the timeline before, so I really wanna just check. Yes, it is, okay. Paris 1967 is where we started, and now it's 1967, but we're in, was it Ohio? So... Yes. We're not at Paris yet, but we are getting real close. Why, hello, Beth. 
Why, hello, Benny. Hello! Who he got up first? And Freddy. <laughs> right, okay, well. That shouldn't take too long. Yeah. <laughs> Highest rated players in the whole fucking country. And yet here we are in some second rate university. You should see the places they play in the Soviet Union. I'm planning on it. You have to get past me first. Oh. I'm planning on that too. Oh. <laughs> it's a challenge. Okay, this is cool. I like this like stylistic look. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Hey, she's reading his book. Interesting. Is, she, is that her trying to figure out his style of, of um, play? Because she used to not read people's books about people, but now that I mean, I think that's showing her like utilizing a bit of a different tactic that she learned from Harry, which is cool to see. Some of us have been uh, heading down to the student union, having a couple beers, playing some speed chess. You should join us. No thanks. I have to study. Yeah. Bye, boys. Whoa, whoa, hold on. How about some speed chess? Five bucks a game? I'm, I literally, looking at this, I'm just like, <laughs> all going over my head. Oh, everyone's staring now, okay. Hmm, interesting. Why, they haven't gotten to the end of the tournament yet. So I wonder if she's like, maybe purposefully losing to see how he plays, like, because this is obviously going to help, right, with the last tournament, because they're seeing how each other plays over and over and over and over again, right? So she might not be purposely losing, but this is definitely, like, not the best choice if you're trying to win at the end of the tournament, because I don't, they haven't had their last tournament yet, right? So... I, I wonder why they're doing this. <laughs> Look at all the people now. What is happening? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if she... Right? She's smiling. Right? Did she... Wait. I feel like... Maybe? Maybe not? Or maybe she is upset. No, is she upset? I can't tell. I thought she was smiling, but maybe she's actually upset. But I feel like that's gonna give her knowledge on how he plays that could help her win, right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, yeah, definitely upset. Is that Alma's? I think it is. I ain't calling you a truther! I mean, you or me? Are you trying to psych me out? No, I don't need to do that to beat you. <laughs> wow. You held me off well enough yesterday. Yeah, but that doesn't count. That's speed chess. I'm better at speed chess than you are. Do you ever go over games in your head when you're alone? I mean, play all the way through them? Doesn't everybody? <laughs> no. They're very similar. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think Beth's gonna win. Well, I never thought you'd let me trade queens. 30 games, man. Jesus. She won. Looks like you can have drink me, too. I'll drink them, Beth. Don't do that. Maybe easy not. There, yeah, like. easy. <laughs> How do I get to Moscow if I go? Uh, well, I mean, when I went, Federation paid for my ticket, and then church group covered the rest of it. You always drink this much? Sometimes I drink more. You know, if you keep doing this, you're gonna end up washed up by the time you're 21. I like your hair. <laughs> I, I also like his hair, but like, a little forward. <laughs> kind of awkward. <laughs> when do you go to Paris? In five weeks. Well, you'll need a good trainer. Not Harry Beltic, someone better. Hmm. You. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see where this is going. Uh-huh. Who'd you have in mind? Mm. <laughs> can you come to New York? You can sleep in my living room and you can leave for Paris from there. Okay. Fine. I'll come to New York. We'll leave from here. I'll drive us. Wait, right, right. now? Tomorrow. Okay, no. <laughs> Afternoon. It's like, that is fast. Okay. Oh, and about sex? Forget it. What? Huh? Okay. Jesus. I don't know. The, I don't know what to make of those two, honestly. Like, what the heck? Men are good. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> I'm going to stop this real quick and then get some more water and then get into the next episode. So I'm now eating chocolate. <laughs> so.
ignore me while I munch away. Okay, here we go. Come along, <laughs> it takes a strong woman to stay by herself. So you never oh. forget who you were. Mm. I love that car. Mm. Mm. That is some nice architecture. I wish architecture here in Canada was prettier. Our architecture can be very ugly. It's sad. <laughs> but we're a, we're a younger country, so we don't have all the history. That one. This one. Mm. Mm. I lived in a basement suite once, and the spiders. Ugh. Hey, I will never do it again. I don't care how little money I have. I hate bugs, and the spiders were huge. Ugh. He's such an interesting character. I'm sure he's got tons of money, but he chooses to live there. Which, like, listen, I would, I would be kind of similar, but I wouldn't live in a basement. Like I said, no spiders. <laughs> um, but even if I had a lot of money, I would live in like, like a small. If I was living by myself, which I probably would be, I'd live in like a cute like loft apartment or something. I would not want to buy like a huge place. That would it would be too too empty. I don't know. I don't like that idea. Um, but yeah, I just don't know what to, what to think about Benny. He's still kind of a mystery to me. Also, this is really choking me now, <laughs> now that I'm eating. <laughs> I wore it to, to be stylistic. Also, this undid. Oh, that's sad. I don't know how to do it back up, so. Oh, well. I thought I was going to get a couch. Oh, well, I said living room. Hey, blow-up mattresses aren't that bad. I've slept in a blow-up mattress before. Oh. Okay, that that blow-up mattress is a little small. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Love that for him. Benny, look at this. Fine, missed one. With the knife. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Serious what is with the why would he not have a parking spot at his house the Soviets and you know why they're the best players in the world because they played together as a team us Americans we work alone because we're all such individualists I wonder who that could be I have genuinely no clue this is Hilton Wexler and Grand Master Arthur Libertov hello Bet. Oh, I'm Cleo hi hello another girl Finally? How do you all know each other? A oh, sad story. Those two stopped me from killing myself. Oh boy. Now the truth is, um, Benny was there and I became mesmerized by Benny. Over and done. What do you do? I'm a model. Mm, tough. That must be exciting. Fashion is exciting. Modeling and models are insipid. But it pays for my studio in the Marais. You know, I have people um, very few times ask if I was a model or had considered modeling. I actually had someone uh, once come up to me um, from like the church I went to to ask to be in a photo shoot and it never happened for some reason. But like, yes, modeling can make you money and and all that, but it seems like such a terrible environment. Like it just seems so horrible because of all the expectations. I wouldn't want to do it. <clears throat> I'm dying. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm hoping after enough time of wearing this, this will stretch out a bit and then I can breathe. <laughs> Let's play speed chess. Well, that'll give us an edge. You're not so good at that, remember? I'll bet you ten I can beat you. Oh, oh confident. <laughs> I'll bet you ten on each of them, too. Okay. It's your money. It will be. <laughs> I can't comprehend. Whoa. Okay, that's, that's too much. <laughs> They're gonna be broke by the end of this. Well, kid, I think you've got it. It was such a pleasure. Don't look me up if you come to Paris. Will you be there in two weeks? Oh, who knows? Night. Wait. Hey. Yes? Do you still like my hair? <laughs> oh, boy. Hello. You should play the Sicilian. Even now, thinking about chess. <laughs> in your game with Borgov, you should play the Sicilian. You should always play your line, never his. You play what's best for you. Anything else? One more thing. They never say check at the big tournaments. Are you serious? Yeah, very. I meant, are you serious? This is what you're thinking about right now. Mm. Good night, Benny. 
Here we are. This is where the first episode started. I thought we wouldn't get here until the last episode, so interesting. So how are you feeling about your match with Alec Berglund? I'm looking forward to it. Does that mean you think you can beat him? It means that I have to beat him. Do you feel good about the match with Grandmaster Borgov? Very good. At night, I stay in my room and study Mr. Borgov's old games. Including the one against you in Mexico City? Asobina, Eto. So what happens then? Because I'm pretty sure her match against Borgov is the one that we see in episode one. And she was like a mess before that. So what the hell happened? I like the symmetry of this shot and her being in the center. What, you thought you could sneak into town without me knowing? Who is this? And now you insult me. Cleo? A very Cleo. sad Cleo. <laughs> I thought you might come down and join me for a drink. I have a match tomorrow. One drink and then you oh, is that what happens? resume your radios. It's the final. I should probably sleep. I understand. Maybe tomorrow night. Well, who knows where I'll be so far in the future, but um, I wish you luck in your match. I think I'll go toast your success on my own. Sweet dreams. Hi. Okay, here's what I'm thinking, right? We saw in the first episode her in a room with someone in the bed, and I thought it was Alma. But now I'm thinking it's definitely Cleo. So I'm thinking maybe they're gonna get together, leading to Beth maybe realizing that she is not straight. And that's why maybe she hasn't had a good relationship with, me with men in the past and why it hasn't really worked out. Yeah, I think that might, might be what we're leading to. Now, just wondering, I wanna get to bed early. I have a feeling that that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I could see myself living here. I That's more than one drink. <laughs> if I lived here. And she's smoking again. I would go to plays and concerts and I would eat lunch in a different cafe every day. And I would dress the way that women do here. So smart with their nice dresses. You already have so much more than they do. And something that none of them have. Talent. There's nothing keeping me in Kentucky. And have you ever been in love? Not with Benny. Of course not. A woman can compete with Benny's love for himself. <laughs> He is very vain. So we are still in love. What's his Harry? name? Harry? Towns. Towns, huh. To unrequited love and to stupid men. Mademoiselle <laughs> Oh, oh, are we at? Yes, we are. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm sorry. She just hung over. Is that is that what's going on? I don't know. Oh, I resign. There's a rumor you were drunk. I wasn't drunk. Hung over. I could have been stone cold sober. It wouldn't have made the slightest difference. Yeah, I don't believe that. I'm going back to Lexington. I need to be alone. That is the opposite of what you need. Please just come to New York. We can talk it out. Beth. Thank you, Benny, for everything. I'm very concerned. Hello. This is Dick Chenault. Um. Your lawyer? Uh, it's a uh, sweet. He doesn't want to sign. Sign what? Title for the house. He said he would sign whatever was necessary. Well, apparently he changed his mind. Come in. I thought I could keep the house if I made the payment. Uh, Mr. Wheatley says you misconstrued him. Oh. Claims he was just permitting you to stay in the house uh, until you got settled. Nope. He said she could keep it. He said I could have it. Yep. Remember, can't you even look at me? You adopted me, can't you talk to me? Alma, Alma wanted a child. You signed the papers. You're not entitled to everything I own just because I signed some papers to shut her up. You adopted me. I didn't ask you to. You're my legal father. The money in this house is mine. I'm your daughter. Not in my bookyard. I don't give a shit what your goddamn lawyer says. I don't give a shit what Alma said either. That woman could not keep her mouth shut. Thought the piano would help, it didn't. So here you are. Oh, so pathetic. You're pathetic. Did you ever hear her play? Of course. Yes, but did you ever really listen? Alma was not pathetic. She was stuck. There's a difference. Pathetic? Well, <laughs> I'm looking at pathetic. Exactly. I want her out. I'm selling the house. Sell it to me. I'll buy it. Good luck. Goodbye and good riddance. <laughs> Don't come back. <laughs> I find it interesting that she wore Alma's clothes. I'm pretty sure that's one of Alma's. Is it a dress or a coat? It's like both. Um, I don't know if she did that to like throw off Mr. Wheatley and intimidate him or if she did it just for like 
comfort and confidence, but it's a nice touch. Hey, a French jam. Oh, is she getting new furniture and stuff? Makeover. You are writing to determine your interest in the support of Christian Crusade in your forthcoming competition in the USSR. Take the money. They're loaded. And if you ask them, they'll fly me out there with you. I miss you. Aww. Study the game pamphlets from the last Moscow Invitational. And write the Jesus people back. Tell them you will take all the help that they can give you. And would you care for a cocktail? No, uh, Coke is fine. Actually, I'll have a Gibson one. No! Who's she looking I, at? I remember you. Oh, the singer. But I can't remember love when I man don't you just miss this restaurant setting 2021 struggles <laughs> oh boy hello Beth? I really don't like where this is going. Oh, she is such a mess. Oh boy. <gasps> That's my girl. Oh my god. Is that Harry? Please help her. <laughs> she needs help. Beth, are you in there? Beth, if you're in there, please open the door. No, don't leave, please. Oh gosh. Yeah, um, I'll be there at 9.30. Oh no. Oh boy. Beth Harmon? Annette Packer. I was your first official win. Oh wow. I haven't played in a few years now. I'm pre-med, so I have exactly zero uh -huh. time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll see you inside. There's no smoking in here. Right, of course. Thanks. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> you got a new car. This one's more me. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. What are you doing here? I'm worried about you. Aren't we all? You need help. What kind of help would that be? My dad drank. Okay. You smell just like he did. Your eyes are just like his eyes. And I'm not the one that's supposed to be in college, not working in a supermarket. I'm doing both. Yeah, I like working there. That's good. It's a good job and the people are nice. Elizabeth! Good luck, Beth. I'm so worried. <laughs> uh. No. Uh. Benny, is it Benny? Please, someone help her. <laughs> Please. Jeez. <gasps> Harry, I told you to leave me alone. Oh no, it's not. Jesus. Fucking Christ. Oh my god. Who hey the girl. Hell are you? <gasps> Jolene. Jolene. Ah. I thought it was Benny because of the coat and I think they did that on purpose. Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Why did I not even think about Jolene? That's exactly who we need right now. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I'm so happy about that. Oh, God. Okay, last episode. I'm gonna start, stop and start the camera again, and we're gonna hop into the last episode. Oh, thank God Jolene showed up. Girl, we need you. <laughs> Help. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last episode. Let's hop right in. I am so happy Jolene is here. Times when people tell us thank God. for the best, it's for the worst. I'll be right back. Jeez, ay ay ay. Oh boy. Was the car accident on purpose? Who was that? A mistake. Uh, a rounding error. It's just a problem I gotta solve. <sighs> this whole house belong to you? God, I've missed you, Jolene. Look at her. Look, she's fabulous. Mr. Shrivel died. <gasps> oh. There's a funeral day after tomorrow, I thought. 
We could go together. I'm working as a paralegal. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was something that I was considering doing after university. Don't know if I will, but I got a physical education scholarship. I switched my major to poli sci. I'm saving up for law school. Good for you. I know, me, a lawyer, but the world is fucked up. It is. Oh boy. Hmm. I still take them. Looks like you're doing a lot more than pills, honey. I'm supposed to go to Russia at the end of the year. I'm afraid. I need to quit the wine and the pills and clean yeah. this place up. That'd be a good place to start. So let's look at where you're at. Looks like it's at the bottom of a fucking hole. My advice, stop digging. Maybe it's in my blood. My mother went crazy. Went crazy or always was? I don't know. She gone. Quit thinking about it. It's not doing you any good. Gotta move on. Have control of your own life. I got you a present. A present? What is... Oh, wait, is it the book that she lost? It was me all alone. Wait, did she steal it? I was pissed at you for being a Oh. <laughs> what about for being a white trash cracker bitch? <laughs> Who could forget? Oh, I'm so glad Jolene is back. <laughs> so what will your fellow radicals think? You being with a rich white lawyer. Fuck them if they can't take a joke. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> are we going down memory lane? Oh, yeah, we sure are. Oh, I guess for his funeral, huh? Wow. I just realized I don't ever want to go back in there again. All who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. None of them are praying. Are you okay? I feel bad. I owed him $10. Oh, she never paid him back. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate, Jolene. <laughs> I changed my mind. Oh, boy. Man, I can't imagine what it would be like to go back inside my elementary school. That would be so weird. <laughs> this is worse because she lived there, too. <gasps> you should be in Java, young lady. Yes, ma'am. She's gonna go to the basement one last time. Is that like newspapers of her? Oh. I kept up with everything. Wow. Oh, it's making me a little emotional. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. That got me a little. It, to me, it seems like he was, like, the closest thing she had to a proper parental figure in her life. Well, I mean, other than Alma, but that obviously happened later. And she had her mom, but her mom was obviously not a great parent. Um, I feel like Mr. Scheibel was, like, the one proper parental figure in her life. And seeing that is just, like, so sweet, but also so sad. <laughs> Oh, that got me! Dang, I'm crying up in here. Jesus. <laughs> Aww. Oh my god. Stop. Oh, stop. You're messing up with my makeup. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know why this is getting me so much. I don't know if it's just because I'm, like, tired. Ooh. Okay, let's keep going. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what we would really like from you, Elizabeth, would be some kind of statement. Christian Crusade would like you to make your position public. Look, I have no intention of saying anything like this. Why not? Because it's fucking nonsense. Thank you. We paid for your last trip to San Francisco. Okay, fine. I'll give it all back. <laughs> Listen, believe whatever you want to believe, but don't try and make people believe the same thing you do. You're crazy. <laughs> but I did it, and it's too late to undo it. Are the tickets paid for? No, nothing's paid for. I have 2000 in my bank account. It's going to take a 1000 more to do it. I was wondering. I don't have it. Did you gamble it all away? What difference does it make? Benny, come on. I don't want to go to Russia by myself. You're kidding me. What? You basically tell me that you'd rather be a drunk than be with me. And now you pulled this crap. I mean, he's got a, he's got a point. Don't call me anymore. I mean, I think that's that's fair. She did not treat him very well at all. I shouldn't have bought the house or all those dresses. It's expensive to go to Moscow. 
give it to you. No, you just said it's a lot of money. I've been saving. I need it for law school. I do. And you'll give it back when you win. What if I don't win? Oh, she's gonna win. It was all I had. We weren't orphans. Not as long as we had each other. Oh, stop hurting my feelings. <laughs> few rules. One, stay in your hotel at all times unless you're with me. Three, no drinking. You just want me a drink. That was a test. That was a test. Exactly. <laughs> yes, this will do nicely. Oh. That is so intense. Oh. Oh. Burgos. Yay. <laughs> Wow, Benny was right. This is crazy. <laughs> he was right. This is a lot different from the one in America. It wasn't up to their thumb on like Lyair probably didn't spend a lot of time preparing for their match. There's Nona Gaprindashvili. She's the female world champion and has never faced men. Lyair was expecting an easy win, and not at all. The 27 moves thrashing Beth Harmon just came out. <laughs> Nice. Lost with Grace, even though Harmon's win over him was decisive and merciless. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like a celebrity there now. You can really tell the difference between the importance of chess here in Russia and in America. Lachenko is the oldest player here, was a world champion before Elizabeth Harmon was born. Wow. Harmon will have to be very careful. <laughs> Wow. My goodness, that's a lot of people. I don't understand. Did we win or did we lose? We adjourned. Oh. Oh, they're helping each other like Benny said that they did. Oh, she can understand what they're saying. <gasps> that was cool. I like all of these, like, cool stylistic choices in in the editing oh you made me yawn what the hell harman had her 90 minutes of play and lachenko had the same along with 35 minutes he had left from the day before oh this put three things against her Lachenko having the white pieces, his still unstopped attack, and that extra allotment of time. So, it was all the more impressive when she beat him with 25 minutes still on her clock. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent. What a brilliant recovery. I resign with relief. I've played your game since I was a small girl. You are a marvel, my dear. I may have just played the best chess player of my life. Wow. That's awesome. You will get used to it. <laughs> oh, I like him a lot. This evening, she played the English opening against Flento, and I don't think she expected the game to go on for nearly four hours. The result being, she could come to a match with Bulldog tomorrow, exhausted. Uh, I'm rounding your... It's just a problem I gotta solve. What problem? What I do with you. Close your eyes. <sighs> Ugh, I knew it. That is horrible. Oh my god. Yeah. Do it. Oh. Proud. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I definitely think she's gonna win this time. But even if she doesn't win, I'll still be proud. I feel like she's made a lot of strides just as a person at this point as well. Look like how he needs binoculars to see what's going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, they're all playing- oh my god. That's what people did before phones. If this was happening now, there would just be like a screen in front of the guy up top there that he could watch to see what they were doing, like an overhead view, and everyone would be on their phones. <laughs> It'd be good to talk to them. 
Is it true that you learned how to play an orphan at 20 or two? I was nine. Who taught you? His name was Scheibel. He was a janitor. And we played in the basement. Will you please promise to print that? Absolutely. Yes, good. Excuse me, I'm very tired. I'm with the Lexington Herald leader. <gasps> oh, gosh. No. I know you were angry with me, and I'm sorry. I should have told you the whole story. No, I'm sorry. I should have let you. I will admit, I was a little confused. <laughs> you really are something. But um, what I really wanted was for us to be friends. You forgive me? Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Consider me your second. What do we need to do to help you beat Borgov? I'm happy that they made amends and that they're friends now. In the last video, I was really unsure how to think because I didn't know anybody's ages. Um, I thought that Towns was like in his 30s and that he was like hitting on a s apparently she was 17. Um, but I wasn't sure if she was a minor or not, so I really just did not know how to think because I thought, you know, if he's hitting on a minor, then I definitely am not cool with that. Um, but I also thought he was a lot older than apparently he is. Apparently he was in his, like, 20s. Um, but that doesn't mean that he can flirt with a minor, but that does change things because I thought the age difference was a lot bigger than it actually was. But even then, like, I just didn't know how to feel about that. Um, but now that Beth's older and they're friends and he's helping her out and they're just hanging out, I, I, I'm cool with this. I'm very happy, actually. Well, what I need are the pills, the booze. I need my mind cloudy to win. Can't visualize the games without them. You think that's what brought you here? But you've been doing fine without all that. Exactly. I just really need them right now. Or I thought I did. I don't think that she needs them. You all there? I'll put her on. Hello? If he goes for the night, hit him with the king rook pawn. Benny. Benny. Aww. It's 7 a.m. here, but we've been working on it for three hours. We? Everybody. Oh my gosh. Stop making me cry. <laughs> Why is this making me cry? I guess I must just be emotional. <gasps> What's the date? <laughs> mm, Y'all know what I'm thinking. Kind of close. I don't know. It's, it's gonna... Nah, I'm... Mm, mm, kind of not really <laughs> close to getting my monthly. <laughs> that's the only explanation I can think of. <laughs> oh, that's... I love that because it shows that, like, even if her relationships didn't work out, they're her friends and they care. And I think that's great. Aww. Everybody! <laughs> She's got her own group and team too. Benny said earlier like Americans are individualists and they don't help each other out, but there they are. And I love that so much. Oh, you're hurting my heart. So do you have it handy? Yes, I do. Yes. Let's start with his knight to rook four. Another variation, if he plays knight takes pawn on king five, then you take the rook. But if he plays rook to rook seven, check, then play rook to bishop two. This is warming my heart. Harm it, harm it, harm it. <laughs> Go beat him. You got this. I like that they have someone outside doing it now because they didn't have that before, but now there's so many people, they're like, we gotta do something. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, what happened? She can do it. You got this. I believe in you, girl. I believe in you so much. She picturing it on the ceiling without the pills. Is that what she's doing? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're like, what is she looking at? She's thinking. Oh my god. I am so proud of her. You've got this, girl. Resign. Come on. Draw. Nah. If she accepts. She leaves the stage in a tie with the world nope. champion. If they play on, she could find herself in a very different position. Borgoff is death on end games. Harmon, on the other hand, is not. You've got this. She should accept the draw. No. No. I wish I knew chess just so I could, like, understand how cool this is. 
All I know is there's less and less pieces and it's stressing me out. <laughs> it's your game. Take it. Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I love how excited they are for her. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> Good for you, Crack. <laughs> Good for you. Indeed. You did it! Woohoo! dinner tonight after the reception at the Russian chess club in Georgetown. We've prepared a list of talking points. The big deal. Beating the Soviets at the wrong game. Could you stop the car, please? I'd like to walk. To the airport. <laughs> You're gonna miss the flight. Is she going to play chess? In the park? Raman. Lisa Raman. Da. Harman. Lisa Harman. Oh, that's so sweet. <gasps> Play game. <laughs> Stick around a while. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I don't know why this episode made me like cry. <laughs> I don't know why it made me so emotional, but I loved that. I loved how all the boys came together at the end to support her, and I love that she finally won against Borgov. And it looks like she was gonna stay in Russia because she was missing her flight. I don't know uh, if that is the case or not, but it would make sense because they everybody's saying like chess is Russia's game. If she stays there. That's a pretty welcoming place for her to be, uh, which would be pretty cool. Oh, I like I love that. The la last episode especially, I just got very emotional. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment, um, letting me know what you thought. I would say suggest the next show to react to, but it's already pre-planned, like I said at the beginning, to be Death Note. You can leave suggestions if you'd like for after I do Death Note. I will make another poll after Death Note for you guys to choose from a couple of different options. Um, but yeah, otherwise, let me know what you thought of the video, and of course, make sure to subscribe uh, to show your support and, and to not miss another video. And I'm going to catch up on Stranger Things now because, uh, my god, I have just taken way too long <laughs> to do that. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!